Hello everybody. Uh, in this video, I will explain the main difference between the grid number and the zone numbers in FLAC 2D. So I'm going to just show you a quick example here, very simple soil profile. And if I go to plot and model, and let's have the grid on. And from geometry, I'm going to choose the grid number and the zone number, which is, uh, sorry, uh, I already have the grid, so I'm going to delete the grid. I'm going to keep the grid number and the zone number, which is NUM. Double click on both. And you will see that if I zoom in, you will see that there is number here at each joint and there is number in the middle in that zone here in this uh, element. So let's talk about the first number. Here in the first, for this joint number, there is I, there is two numbers. The first one represent I and J. So we call this I and J. So I, it's for, for the joints number, it's going to increase in the x-axis, as you can see. I is increasing, but J is still constant. So I is the number of joints in the x-axis. On the other hand, J is the number of joints on the y-axis. So if you go up, J is going to increase. Okay, let's talk about the number in the middle here. Here is the number of uh, zone or elements. The same thing here is the first number is I and the second number is J. So I is going to increase if we go on the X axis and J is going to increase if we go in the Y axis. So I change in X axis, but J is still the same. And I change in uh, a J is change in Y axis while I is still the same in X axis. So this is very basic and very important like to know before we start modeling in plexus. Uh, thank you for watching and I will continue give some quick examples from uh, Iktaska websites. They have very good examples so I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go through uh, some of them and uh, explain step by step how to build the model, uh, generate the geometry, apply boundary condition, assign the material and at the end solve the problem. Thank you for watching.